Hi everybody, welcome to video two of the WordPress installation series. In this video, we're gonna show you how to buy a domain name. The biggest and most popular domain name registrar is GoDaddy. You can get there by typing in godaddy.com in the address bar at the top of your browser. And you see something, you will see something that's similar to this. In the search bar, you type in the domain name that you want. I'm just gonna use an example domain name I don't actually need to buy one right now, but I'm going to go through all the steps to show you what you would do to buy it. So I'm just going to type in wplearninglabs.com. You don't have to add, add the .com, actually take that off. Um, you can type in whatever you want here and then click on the search domain button on the right. And then that will tell you if the domain name is available or not. So in this case, the one I typed in is available in the .com version. They also offer you, they also offer the .net, .info, .org version as an upsell. Now just a little hint, the reason GoDaddy is the biggest and most popular domain name registrar is because they spend millions of dollars on advertising. And they can do that because of all the upsells they make you. You'll see what I mean in a second. This is the first upsell right here and you don't need it. There's absolutely no reason unless you're a multinational company or a really popular brand, there's no reason you should have to buy the .net, .info, .org domain names as well. Just stick with the .com. Or if you want the .org, just stick with the .org. Just buy the one domain name. Uh, the concern is if you were very popular already, other people would buy the .net version or .info version of your domain and do what's called cyber squatting or try to sell it back to you for a higher price. But unless you're, if you're just starting out, there's no need to invest the extra money in that because these are yearly fees. It says $9 here as a sale price, but when you renew it, it's gonna be $17.99 next year or whatever price is, is shown there. So if you find the domain name you want, press select and then click on continue to cart at the top. I know this is where the upsells start. They have a really small link here, continue to cart, that's the one you wanna click, but if you're not very experienced with this stuff, they're gonna to try to sell you privacy for a certain amount per month. They're gonna to try to sell you a website builder, they're gonna to try to sell you a hosting account, they're gonna to try to sell you email, which if you have a hosting account, the email actually comes free with it. All these upsells are basically cash grabs, and if you don't know, if you don't have experience doing this, you might buy these things. The one I buy sometimes is the protection. So what this is, GoDaddy for a certain dollar amount per domain per year will hide your personal information from the Whois database. And if you don't know what that is, I'll show you real quick. You go to whois.com and you can type in any domain name here. I'll type in mine, learning lab, wplearninglab.com. Click on search, and you'll see the search results here. It shows that this one is taken because I own it. But if you click on the who is link, it will show you all the information. It shows you where the domain name is registered with GoDaddy. It shows you down here who registered it, that's me, uh, it shows you my address, my phone number, all the information that I use to create the domain name or buy the domain name shows up in the Whois database. Now, if you buy this protection, that doesn't show up. It's just generic. It has all of GoDaddy's information, not your information. So this is the only one that I buy sometimes, although I rarely buy it for domain names, but sometimes I do. So if you don't need that privacy protection, just click on the continue to cart button either at the top or there's one at the very bottom. On the next page, they will automatically select your term for two years. You can select any number of years that you want. I usually just go with one. And then they offer the privacy protection upsell here for an extra, in this case, 774 per year. They offer the other domain names again. They offer you the website builder again. More upsells, more upsells that you don't need. 
So I just change this to one, then I click on proceed to checkout. If this dollar amount is more than $20 and you don't want any of the upsells, if this is more than $20, chances are that you have an upsell selected somewhere and it would appear here. And you can just, there would be a remove link. Click on remove, then I'll get rid of the upsell and I'll drop the price down to just the domain name. So when you're ready, click on proceed to checkout. And here you'll be asked to either create a new account or sign in. And I have a GoDaddy account, so I'll click the login button. It then fills in your billing information. You can select a payment method. And then you click on place order. And I'm not gonna click on place order now because then I will actually order that domain, which I don't really want right now. But when you click on place order, it's going to process it and it's going to take you to a page where you have a receipt or where it shows you a receipt that you can print off for your records. And after that, once you've paid and it's processed, you can log into your GoDaddy account and see your domain in there almost immediately. So we're going to do that right now. So I'll show you how to get there and what to look for. Up at the top, you'll see a My Account link. Click on that. And then you'll see on the quick links on the right, GoDaddy changes this a lot, so when you're watching this, it might not be right here, but you want to find something that says Manage My Domains. And you click on that, it will take you to your Domain Management Dashboard, which is right here. And you may just have one domain in here, or you may have a whole list like I do. But if that domain is in here, that means you have successfully bought that domain and you can start using it. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to buy a hosting account. And that hosting account is used to store your WordPress files and that's where the actual website content will be. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it serves you and I will see you in the next one.